Hi, I'm Joanna Kohler, and we're on the Renters Warehouse red carpet, and tonight we're going to be watching the film Delivery. I'm so excited for this, you guys. We got Adam Schindler, and we have Brian Netto here with us. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. So I know you guys like co-wrote this whole story together. Take me back to like the moment you guys started working on this. How long ago was that? Uh, it was about probably four years ago. We came up with the idea, and uh, immediately we figured it was an idea that we could mount ourselves and do ourselves. So we felt, you know, just get to the writing. Don't don't worry about anything else. Get to the writing. And uh, we sat down. It took us about what three three months to come up with a, a pretty decent first draft, which we gave to our manager and you know got the the notes and everything from that. Did a couple of subsequent drafts after that, and then kind of shopped it out looking for money. You know what I mean? So. I would say about three and a half, four years. Yeah. Wow, wow. And what was sort of the like the driving passion? Like that like what was it that like kinda kept you engaged like three or four years ago? I mean that's that's a little bit of a journey. Whenever you have an idea that sticks and you just can't stop thinking about it, that's that's what keeps you going. And this was that rare idea when we were talking about it between the two of us, we had the idea, we sat our wives down that night and yeah. told them the story. And my wife came up with delivery, so she'll she take, the she'll take the credit for that probably. She deserves credit for that. So it was, it was so, it was just, it, we couldn't get rid of it. And a lot of times you have an idea and, you, and the next thing, the next day you're like, eh, it doesn't work so well. This one, it wouldn't go away. And when we told people about it, their eyes would kind of light up like, oh, yeah. and they kind of lean forward a little bit. So we like, we have a winner. So t tell us a little bit about sort of the, the storyline of this film. I know that you do kind of like a mixture of like saying, okay, it starts off kind of like reality-ish, but talk a little bit about, you know, the storyline of this, this film. It's, I mean, it's, it's about a couple that's having their first child, and they're going to document it for a reality television show. The stuff that you'll see on TLC, very upbeat, very family-friendly, and of course it's a horror film, so as things start to go along, it starts to dovetail and turn into a Rosemary's Baby type of a story. So what we wanted to do was kind of play with format and have a reality show in the first act and get you engaged and you care about the people and you get sucked in and then it starts to turn a little bit. And so we wanted to play with formats because you have the ability with the reality show to just watch real life. But then you have found footage which people tend to watch and it, be, and it kind of gives you a jolt because you don't know what's around the corner. And then we also have documentary aspects that can delve behind the scenes and talk about things that you're not seeing on camera to just kind of give you a full, you know, version, a full vision of the film. So for us, it was just how to best tell the story, how do we engage you right off the bat, and then slowly but surely kind of bleed these horror ideas into the film. We joke because we say this, this film has more layers than Inception because we always had to figure out who's shooting what at what time, you know, what type of, we have very, you know, four different cameras we shot the film on, so it's like, who's shooting what, what time, is it for the documentary, is it for the reality show, is it a video diary, so. There was a lot of elements to kind of uh, put together, but it, it works, hopefully. <laughs> so I think this is really exciting, but I'm curious because, like, in order to work that way, you guys, you know, like, especially in the writing and, and getting to the stage, what makes that, like, team magic Well, work? we're uh, it's a good give and take, you know what I mean? Like, we, the way we wrote the script is we were able to plug our computer into a TV, and one would write while the other person would pace and look at the pages, and we would talk through things. It was a really interesting way to do it because you were able to, one person was able to be focused on the page, but like so focused in on the lines that you're writing. The other person was kind of be able to sit back and see from a, a perspective and go, eh, this, this is not working the way we thought, or what about this? And the other thing that really worked with, you know, how the story came together was, you know, my wife was basically nine months pregnant when we shot the film, gave birth two months after, no, two weeks after we, we were finished shooting. The lead actor, Danny Barkley, who plays Kyle, his wife gave birth to their first child two weeks before. Our DP adopted an infant, so it was like steeped in pregnancy this whole entire film. So, you know, on set we had certain things written certain ways, and we were like, oh, just having gone through it, it would work this way or that way. So we would tweak things. You know? So a little reality check along the way. A little reality check. Yeah, so exactly. what was the reality check like when you premiered this with the LA Film Festival? Well, just the fact that it's a it's a horror film, psychological horror film but that it's a film that can play at festivals like this, Twin Cities Film Festival, can, but also play at Scream Fest in Los Angeles, a big you know, horror festival. It was really interesting because a lot of films can't cross over like that. You know what I mean? Don't tend to cross over like that. So, you know, it was interesting to see how the audience reacts in LA to a film like this, and then how people react, horror fans react at a Scream Fest where they're geared up for horror, you know. 
it's really interesting to, to kind of watch that. It, people have reacted well to it thus far. So. But it's also nerve wracking when you show your baby for the first time. So for him, he was relaxed. Yeah. I mean, well, this is really relaxed. This is very much about fam friends and family, people we haven't seen since our fifth grade teacher was going to make it out. She couldn't, but this is friends and family, and this is really special. So, I mean, coming back home to show this, nothing beats that. So I'm, I just want to thank you guys. I'm really excited to have this, like, homegrown film here. We take credit. It's Minnesota. We take credit for people. As you should. Know As you should. Anymore. So thank you very much. I'm excited. And, and You're going to be there tonight? Yeah, yeah. All yeah. right. And I just want to thank you for checking us out on the Renter's Warehouse red carpet.